Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Melissa Muir. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate and review a new laser in my studio. This is the Lumos by WeCreate and it's being launched on June 20th. So if you're seeing that on June 20th, that's today. So anyway, they send it for me to review. I've played with it a little bit here and it's very, very portable. As you can see, this is not my normal studio. And I was able to bring this with me to my secondary studio high up in the mountains. And so I've been playing with it, putting it through some of the courses, and I decided I'm going to do two videos on this to review it and show you kind of what it can do. Um, this is a lower end as far as the wattage goes. So we have two lasers in it. You've got the blue diode and we have a three watt infrared laser. And this is going to allow you to be able to work just a little bit faster, cut a little deeper, but again, we're still kind of on that light end. So for metal working and in my jewelry studio, it's more on the marking end of things rather than doing a deep engrave. But join me now. Let's take a look and I'll walk you through it. And if you guys have questions, make sure you leave those down in the comments section. So first things first, I need to unpack this. It was actually kind of difficult to unpack because it's packed so well. Like it's a nice tight tolerance in there. But once you get this out, look at it, it's purple. And you all know I love purple. So anyway, there's some different accessories that are in this that I'll show you guys a little bit later, but there's also some tools and a conversion from a USB to USB-C. So removing all of the packaging is going to allow me to get to a few different things. They've got tape here on the sides to keep that cover from sliding open during shipping or even unpacking. So you're going to remove that. Then here on the back, we also have room for our fan. There's also a connector for that. And you'll see that in just a moment. I'm going to remove the top here and unpack all the stuff that's inside. Okay. So again, as we unpack, there's more accessories in here. And this is going to include a cutting base, a base for the laser, power cords, the vent hose, as well as the connector. Now, here's everything all kind of laid out that it comes with. The thing that's really nice about this, it's set up and it's ready to go. All I need to do is install this laser head. And it comes out because that can also become a portable item. But what I'm going to do is put it in and then there's a, a screw that's going to tighten it into place. Now they've also included a little wrench that is going to help me tighten that up. So I can first finger tighten it. Then once I kind of get to that stopping point, use the little wrench and then kind of tighten that up a little bit more. Don't want to crank it too much. But now we're ready to check our lens, make sure there's nothing out of alignment, make sure it's not wobbly, cracked, anything like that. I do like to keep the lens covered when I'm not using this. I'm going to install that base here and that's going to allow me to attach a different accessories, including these little holders that allow me to position things. So I can put that in and then I can position my wood. Okay. And that's going to make it so it's repeatable once I get some things set up. Next thing I need to do is remove all of these screws and I'm going to put on that hose connector and that's going to allow me to connect a hose and it is padded right there so it's going to create a nice tight seal once you get everything in there put the screws all back on and now i'm going to attach the hose so we have the little screw ring on here put that on and then attach this hose now it's going to look simple here in this video but it's really not it took a minute to get it there once you get it on, it's got a nice tight fit and it's ready to go. Now we're ready to plug it in and I'm going to plug in the back, turn it on, and now we get to play. So I have here a plate that I'm going to put a name, so I'm customizing this. So I have used the We Create Make It program to come up with my design and now I'm ready to engrave this. Because I wanted this to be a little bit darker, it's going to take a little more time. So while this laser does have the capability of working very, very fast, when you need something that's a little darker, a lot of times we go a little bit slower and that is what you're seeing here. This is in real time. Now, something interesting, if I lift the top of this, it's going to stop. It just stops engraving because it doesn't want to damage your eyes. So I'm going to lift up that hood. It stops. I'm going to put it back down. And then I have to press that start button once more. 
and then it will resume where it stopped. This is kind of nice because then you can kind of check your progress. Now, when I lift this up, I want you to look at those letters and you'll see that there's a little bit of a haze around them. That's just a little bit of oxidation and it wipes right off with my finger, just like that. And here are my little tags. Now these were stainless steel, but I also wanted to see what it could do in other materials. So here I'm doing copper, and this is just a little test plate, and I picked out a design. They have actually a fairly robust design um, catalog that you can choose from as far as your clip art goes. So this was one of the ones that I decided I would try, see how long it took. Then I thought, okay, if it worked well on copper, Let's see what it looks like on a craft box. So this is just one of those little gift boxes made with craft paper. And you have to select your settings a little bit differently. And they do have options for that. And then again, I'm going to run this, hit start, and you'll see how much faster this is on this material than it was on the copper. So as you work with different materials, you're going to see it work at different speeds. Uh, now, this is going to off gas, you can see that a lot. So I do have this hooked up to a fume extractor or you can use different fans. You can also put that little hose there and pump it out to the back. So now you can see there's our little box lid and it has a beautiful engrave to that and it is three dimensional as well. Then I decided, let's see what happens on stone. So this is just a little black stone. I have no idea what it even is. Just something that I picked up at one of the gem shows. But I am going to select a stone or ceramic as my material. There weren't a lot to choose from. This was slate. So a lot of times I will go with whatever they have in their catalog. And then I will kind of make my adjustments from there. But this one I decided, let's see what it looks like. It tells me it's going to take 51 seconds. Once again, can't run it without that that lid down so close that up and here we go now this is in real time so you can see it's actually fairly quick but then we're going to speed this up so that we can see the whole process this is a beautiful not only is it that beautiful white but it's actually a carving into the stone itself so if i run my thumb over this i can feel that it's gone into the stone now this is a piece of granite um, wanted to see what would happen with that. Now, you can kind of tell, I've already run this once before. This one actually had to go three times in order for me to get something that is similar or comparable to that black stone that I had. And while I don't know that I had slate, I did use that slate setting. Even on this, I used the slate setting. But then I went in and made some adjustments, slowed it down a little bit. And you can see the granite didn't engrave quite as well. So here I have an aluminum business card that is covered in a yellow sheen. So you've got different settings for different colors. But here I wanted to put a border around this, uh, put in my design so I can use that We Create Make It program to lay this all out. And the thing I like is notice that you can actually see this on the back plate. So I'm not trying to work blind here. I'm, they have a camera built in that shows me what it is that I'm looking at. So this is one of those that I can go in and select my material. So I've selected that it's an aluminum business card with the yellow, and now I tell it to run. And this will actually do pretty quick on this. I also went back and then added a little bit more. So here I've added my name, and you can see how fast that goes as well. So this is pretty versatile so far, I'm liking it. This was probably one of the easiest startups on a laser of this caliber that I have ever used. Pull it out of the box and I'm ready to go. So it's been kind of fun. There's a very small learning curve to the program and you know, join me next video and I'll show you guys even more. So as you can see, it is quite versatile. I played around with things like paper, wood, uh, stone, and also different types of metals. In the next video, I'm going to not only play with some of the different metals, but I'm going to show you some of the coloring techniques that you can do 
with the laser and you can get color with both the infrared and the blue diode. So we'll take a little bit of a look at that. Plus I'm going to show you some of the other things that's going to make it kind of versatile. So of course we have a slider, we have a rotary tool. You also have a cone that you can then turn this into more of a handheld item. So let's say I needed to engrave on something or mark on something that's, you know, a fixed surface and I can't fit it under the laser itself. So join me next time. And that's just going to be here in another week or so. I'll make sure I have all of that recorded for you and put up there. As always, if you have questions, make sure you leave that comment down in the comment section. And I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. If you're interested in looking at more or purchasing some of these items, make sure you look in the description and I'll include links for everything that I've covered.